What I've done so far in this bank reconciliation is to connect my books balance here to reconcile it with my bank balance. I know why there's a difference here. And now I've realized there are some things, first of all, that are going to change on the bank balance. Eventually, a deposit I've recorded on my books is going to go through in the bank, or some checks that I've given to vendors or uh, others uh, are going to go through, and eventually these things are going to work themselves out on the bank side. However, on the book side, I need to make some corrections because my books are not quite right, and I need to fix that. So I'm going to record these uh, things in the book side into my general journal. I only need to record uh, items on this books side of my bank reconciliation. I don't need to worry about this stuff over here, but only this stuff on the books side of things. So, first of all, I've got this, um, I've got this collection that the bank did for me. Now, first of all, something about this collection, uh, on here it said a note payable. This is somebody else's payable. This is money that they owed me. This is actually in my books. This is a receivable. So, over here, first of all, on, in my general journal, I'm going to record the date. And then, this is made my cash. When I think about this transaction, this has made my cash. Cash has gone up. So here's cash. It's gone up by $2,070. There's this collection fee. Um, however, on the other side of the equation, this is not notes payable. It's accounts receivable. There. So th uh, th this is not, like I said, this is not a notes payable. It's for me on my books. This is something that I'm receiving. It's, it's somebody else who had a notes payable. So remember that. And it was a note payable for $2,080. And then in the middle, there's this collection fee for the bank. On my books, this is going to be a collection expense. And it's going to be $10. And notice that this all balances. There's 280 that my accounts receivable went down. I've got a 2,070 in cash, and I've got a collection expense of ten dollars. I'm gonna put a note there to indicate what exactly this is. And so now I've recorded this first transaction uh, on my books. Got a couple more to do. First, there's a bank service charge. This has made my cash go down, so cash is going to be credited. But on the debit side, this is a bank service charge. So this is going to be service charge expense. $40 there. Um, and here, my cash has gone down by $40 as well. Um, It's a bank service charge there. So now I'm done with this one here. And then my supplies purchase, I'll put this in just like I would put in a regular supplies purchase. Supplies are going up by 140. Cash is going down by 140. Make a note of it. And so now I recorded everything from my bank reconciliation on the book side that I need to. And of course I'm going to post everything as well, but at this time the bank reconciliation is complete.